Fox to pay $787 million to settle election suit, Dominion says. This is a Bloomberg story. Fox News has agreed to pay $787 million to settle Dominion voting system defamation lawsuit when alleged that the network aired bogus claims that Dominion rigged the 2020 election against Donald Trump. Evidence uncovered in the case showed that Fox News executives and top hosts like Tucker Carlson privately derived the conspiracy theory as loony even as they promoted it. The settlement ends the possibility of a trial in which Rupert Murdoch, the chairman of Fox Corp., and his son would have to testify about their oversight of the network's new representation presentations. The settlement allows Fox News to avoid having to flatly apologize, which means neither Tucker and the other folks won't have to apologize. Uh, Fox News, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity won't have to apologize on air about uh, Dominion. The host will avoid being grilled on the witness stand and won't have to issue restrictions or make any other statements on TV, even though the network acknowledged false statements were broadcasted. Uh, the falsehood claims that Dominion made by then-Trump lawyer Giuliani and Sidney Powell, who appeared as guests on several Fox shows, pushed a false conspiracy theory about Dominion flipping votes from Donald Trump and Joe Biden. By the way, this is a very, very big news, okay? So here's here's the problem with things like this. I'll give you my okay. feedback, and then we can process it together. My, my problem with something like this is... Um, one, I love the fact that there is a form of accountability, okay? The slippery slope is anytime a lawyer has a case that becomes a precedent and that's the standard, well, then guess what? Everybody else is getting a phone call. Mm -hmm. When these guys indicted Trump, what they don't realize they did, for the next 300 years, if there's still a country here, mm -hmm. Republicans will always be able to say the first president that was indicted was by the Democrats. Mm -hmm. So if a future Democrat tries to say this is not a good look for the country, we look divided to the enemy, hey, Democrats, you started it. Nothing. And, and the forever, forever they're going to be able to say that. You impeached a guy two times and nothing happened just because Nancy Pelosi celebrated the fact that they impeached him just to humiliate him is what they did. Okay. Now, they may say, well, what do you mean? He humiliated us for calling us fake news. He wasn't wrong. You were fake news. You said Russia, whatever. Hey, is there a lawsuit with Russia for you? Mm -hmm. So this may cause Trump to go sue CNN with Russia and Collusion. MSNBC. Mm -hmm. And then his lawyers may say, well, look, if you did Dominion, you did this to my career. You cost me this much money with my businesses. My numbers happen, this, that. There's a, there's a lot of things that this, if, I'm, if, I'm, if this is happening right now with Fox, guess who's worried? CNN is sitting there saying, oh, NBC is sitting there, ABC is sitting there, Morning Joe is sitting there. All of these guys are sitting there as much as they're so happy because this is such an in-your-face. You know, this is kind of like, you know how uh, a sports team dominates everybody in a league and they hate them and then finally something comes out, deflate gate. I told you, I knew New England Patriots <laughs> couldn't win. And then New England Patriots comes back and wins again and again. Yeah. I told you the Astros cheated and let you, and then they come back and they win without yeah. I told you this. So there's an element of that that's happening today where everybody on the mainstream media is celebrating this, having drinks, getting hammered. This is the biggest party they're having to celebrate this. But I think there's going to be more things that's going to backfire with this, Tom. I'll tell you who I don't. I, I actually believe that MSNBC and NBC and Brian Roberts at Comcast have been remarkably quiet uh, on certain parts of this. I think they're concerned, and I'll tell you why. <clears throat> if you go take a look at the Steele dossier, <clears throat> and what Rachel Maddow did on MSNBC, it's exactly what you said. <clears throat> I would be on Trump's side lining up at her door mm -hmm. because the Steele dossier and everything turns out also fake, also was wrong. And so, duck. And I, I think MSNBC <clears throat> probably doesn't like this precedent because of the way that they played uh, Russia and the Steele dossier. To pick one. Just one. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll give you my little two cents right here. Well, obviously, this is the number one story across every single is it? cable news outlet, except for one. Yeah. Take a wild guess who's not really covering this story. CNN? No, Fox. Fox. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about that guy? Yeah. Uh, well, as it turns out, 
you know, we can go down the list of CNN and MSNBC fake news, yeah. uh, Russia, scandal, Ukraine, Everything. impeachment, fake, fake, list, fake, fake, The fake, list fake. is too long. Turns out it takes two to tango. And it turns out Fox News is peddling fake news stories as well. Uh, or else they wouldn't settle for $787 billion. Dollars. Million, 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 million. Million dollars. Million. Million. That. Still a lot. The lawsuit was one point. I think six billion. They settled for half, seven eighty-seven uh, million. By the way, guess how much cash they have on hand? Fox News. How much? Take a guess. So we just established that what Berkshire Hathaway has a <clears throat> hundred billion. Yeah. Two point one billion. I, my numbers show four billion. Okay, there you go. Okay, so right. what I'm, I'm saying is, guessing. what I'm saying is, they've had to give up twenty percent of their cash on That's hand. That's a lot. This is no joke, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fox News. Uh, this is not a good look for Fox News. Uh, the, the the biggest question is, how will this affect 2024? Fox just paid the price for this. They avoided Tucker and Laura Ingram and Sean Hannity and all the cohorts having to basically be show ponies for uh, in a in a trial, so that they avoided literally getting egg on their face. They didn't have to apologize. They didn't have to admit guilt. They didn't have to. You know, give accountability. They just had to pay seven hundred and eighty-seven million dollars. I apologize for saying B earlier, but this is not a good look for Fox News. But uh, this will go back to three things again: the same things that, that the Democrats, I won't say won, while they didn't lose the midterms. The same three things: uh, election denial is not a winning message. News flash to Donald Trump: Stop it! It cost you in the midterms. It just cost. Fox News, you know, three quarters of a billion dollars. Yeah. This is not a winning message. Drop it. Win on your merits. Win on your policies. Win on the shit show that is Joe Biden. Yeah. Win on that. Stop being a victim and say the truth and win on that again. Because saying that I really want it and it's all fake news, well, it's not a winning message, yeah. clearly. I mean, it just sucks for him because, and that sucks for him, but, I mean, can you blame somebody like Trump not trusting the same people that did all these investigations and all this, but and Dominion with the Democratic Party? I totally Party, understand that, but, but Pat brought this up with Rudy Giuliani, uh, Rudy Giuliani on the podcast the other day. It's like, okay, so let's say you can't trust the system. Let's say you can't trust the voting machines. Let's yeah. say you can't trust government. What happens? We saw what happened in Georgia. You encourage people to do what? Not vote. Okay, and that's why Georgia picks up two Senate seats and you end up flipping the Senate because you're encouraging your base not to come out and vote because you can't trust <laughs> yeah, the machines. This, this, is, this, is, this is a losing message. Yeah, you're, you're right. This is something we never got behind of. I mean, we, we listen, we interview everybody. I don't care who you are. We'll be, I'd love to have uh, uh, Robert Reich on. He won't show up. We'd love to have Bernie Sanders on. I'm telling you, they won't show up. Of course not. We, we've had all the guys that people, you have no idea. You would never have Jenk on. Well, we had him on. You'd no. never have David Patton. You'd never have Kyle Kolinsky. You'd never have Sam Cedar on. And then, you know, by the way, you know, on Twitter, they no longer say you would never have because we have. Yep. You would never have this. Dude, we don't mind sitting down having a conversation about this. We even had Dinesh D'Souza on, I think, at one point. Dude, yes. We did have Dinesh yeah. Yeah. about Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, but but to me, to me, uh, uh, this this is this is concerning, um, in in a in a different way. It's not it's not at all a way of like uh, what people are thinking. You know, this is a complete different way. I think when Alex Jones was sued for how much money the money Fuck was, billion. I'd yeah. say that's a that's a that's a very because what it what it makes people do. I mean, if you if you if you think about this, fine. Dude, for how many years did CNN and MSNBC talk about Russia? How many years was huh. it? They still every, talk about it. Every day for three years they talked about it. Yeah. How come they're not sued over it? That's a great question. Why, why are they not being sued over that hoax that they held? They should be. If I'm, if, I'm Trump, if I'm Trump right now, I'm calling my lawyers and I'm saying, you know what? No problem. File a $4 billion defamation lawsuit against CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, for the Russian hoax with the Durham report coming out, sue them for $4 billion, $5 billion. Mm -hmm. He may even do $10 billion because of those every <laughs> freaking day they did for how long, right? But I don't think that's the direction we should go to. But I think we're going to. It's too late. I think, I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> if Trump is who I think he is and the types of people he has around him, why wouldn't he 
sue those guys as a defamation. He's a counterpuncher, isn't he? He's a New York counterpuncher. Yeah. This is like an this is a layup counterpuncher to Russia that needs to get done already because you. You know, he can say he hurt the re-election. They did. There's so many they different ways. They heard his name. They heard his company, his uh, name, yeah. his family, the whole thing. But like, I, but and Pat, mind you, though, I'm not. Listen, we know that there's cheating in voting. I don't care what anybody says. I don't know about how grand the scale is, but there's always there was always discrepancies. Two things I want to ask: Are they still going to use the Dominion? Is Dominion still being used for for the next coming elections? Like, do they is yeah. Dominion across the board, mm-hmm. Pat, being used all the time? I, I believe like, so. And there's also something to just keep tabs of. There's a, another lawsuit coming down the pike uh-huh. from the other vote counting machine, which is called Smartmatic. Yeah. You familiar with these guys? Yeah. Uh, Dominion was suing for what? 1.3 billion? billion? Smartmatic is suing. Two, d- two. Dominion was suing for 2.7 billion. Yeah. Okay. No, Smartmatic oh, is Smartmatic. suing for 2.7 billion. Dominion was, I think, 1.6, and they got half of it. Yeah. Something like that. One point. Yeah. There's so many billions being flown around with this Dominion stuff. Yeah. There's going to be settled right there. So Fox might end up having to pay another billion dollars for endorsing these lies. So, but I, mean, but, uh, but I heard a lot of it was them bringing on people who were saying discrepancies, especially, do anything computer. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not saying they did, but can you really trust it? The integrity of just voting and mail-in ballots and all that, all that, it's just, well, there's well, a difference, I don't know, dude. Th- there's a difference we learned from Phil Mudd, CIA, who was here. He says there's a big difference between what you think and what, and you, what you can prove. 100%. And with much respect to Rudy Giuliani, because we had a great time with him. I thought he was, people thought, was he nuts? Was he insane? I was actually like, no. No, I was impressed. It was actually cool. Yeah. But he firmly, firmly, firmly thinks yep. that the election was stolen. Mm-hmm. But he hasn't done anything to prove it whatsoever. I remember vividly PBD asking me, this would have been in November of 2020, when I'd never heard of Sidney Powell. He's like, what do you think about this lady? And I'm like... I don't, she's, she's, this is when she was like, Hugo Chavez came back from the dead, China, like she's saying all these wild, over the top claims, it's like, holy shit, she seems credible, she seems like she has it going on, she says, what do you think, I'm like, I don't know, I just, I, I, I this is, see, this is very odd, mm-hmm. it turns out she ended up being a QAnon conspiracy theorist, right. liar, yeah. uh, but it, it, again, a difference between what you think and what you can prove. A lot of people genuinely think that the election was stolen. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. But you haven't proven anything. But, but, but wait a minute. Wait, those are two different things. A, a person, what this can't do, a person should have the right to think and speculate. The problem with this is, no, this is, you know, well, you know, you have to go prove it is what you need to do. Yes. A lot of people that are speculating, saying the videos of people doing this, the voting, the the lady pulling this and doing uh, that stuff. No one said a lot of that stuff hasn't been proven wrong. Yeah, it just hasn't been like you know talked about. Those are two different issues that you got to isolate. The 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 isolating here is they kept driving this Mm -hmm. over and Mm -hmm. over. Yeah, okay, cool. I mean, it is what it is. You chose to settle. By the way, I've been part of lawsuits, and you, sometimes you're like, no, I'm not going to settle. I'm going to go with it. Great. Mm-hmm. It could take four or five years, and then you may pay more, mm-hmm. or you may just say, you know what? I'll just settle right now, pay half a million dollars or $200,000 or a million dollars, and move on. What they're doing here is they're not saying, they're just saying, let's settle. Let's move on. Let's put this behind us. You know, we probably don't have a chance of winning this. There, There's a conversation that happens with the lawyer. They sit there and you tell, listen, what are the chances we can win something like this? Ah, uh, 20%. But it could cost us this, this, mm-hmm. this, this, that. Okay, if we settle, how much could we pay for right now? If we win, it's going to be this. But if we lose, they could get us for the whole thing. If we settle right now, can you start talking about settling? Yes. And then they go start having the discussion. Yeah. No. Th- this does not mean there was no possibility of any photo- voter fraud. This just means the Dominion came in. They fought to protect their name and their reputation. Yeah. yeah. The part where I would like to see take place, which is deeply concerning, it's not needing 45 days to count yeah. or 30 days to count, mm-hmm. or however many days it was to count. Yeah. I want to get the results the same night. Yep. So when you all of a sudden say, oh, people stop working, listen, everybody gets skeptical with that. What do you mean you stop working? There's one event that happens every four years. You don't stop working on those days. You know when people don't sleep and you have a lot of tired people at work? When there's World Cup. You know why? Especially when it's another country. And the game is at 2 a.m. And you're waking up to watch the freaking game. Yeah. That happens once every four years. It's called the World Cup. You don't say, 
you know what? Uh, we're going to delay this thing <laughs> yeah. because, and then we're tired. No, no, it's an election. Sit your ass down, count the votes. If you don't want to do the job, don't be part of the counting the votes and let somebody else do it, that they take this thing valuable. But that, that's the area where we sit there and say, I I'm sorry, that's a little weird. Yeah. What, what, do you, what do you do? So for the people that are skeptical about those types of things, I, I, I'm, I'm fully supportive of that because we should sit there on election night and go to sleep knowing who our president is for the next four mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't go to sleep and saying we're going to need 35 more days to count. My six-year-old knows how to count up to a pretty high number. If they're looking for people to count, I can send four people to my kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even Brooklyn is learning how to count. She's 23 months old, mm -hmm. okay? So if they need help, we got some support here for them. Yeah, I'll say one thing. I fully agree with you, 1,000%. There is a difference between being skeptical and questioning and being certain. And to anybody, whether it's yeah, Donald Trump definitely colluded with Russia, 100%. It's like, oh, you know that? Bob, yeah, who watches <laughs> CNN yeah. for two hours a day, you know that? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, okay. They definitely stole the election. It's like you know that, Bill, because you watched Newsmax. Yeah. after dinner, yeah. like you can't be that certain. You can be skeptical as hell. Yeah, no doubt. I'll say one more thing about Fox News, and I think one of the biggest reasons why they decided to settle. Because the future of their brand hinges on their personalities, whether it's Tucker, whether it's Hannity, whether it's Laura Ingram, the Murdochs, the whole family. The last thing that Fox needs for their brand is Tucker on the oh, <laughs> hand on the oath, the Bible, yeah. hand on the Bible, uh, on the Bible, swearing under oath. It's the last thing that they need for their brand. Let's pay this fine. It Just sucks. Get it, yeah. get it over with. Live to fight another day. The last thing they needed to do was drag on and on and on and have all their stars, all their executives on the trial. I, I think there's something else here. And, and what it is is most folks probably don't understand the calculus of settlement. The calculus of settlement is about time, is about reputation, and more than anything, discovery. When you're on the stand, if you go all the way to court, goes on the stand, the other side can say, I want to ask about your HR policies. And your lawyer says, wait, 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 we object. This is not related. No, Your Honor, it goes to their willingness to allow people to do this or this. And if you get uh, Lachlan and you get Rupert on the stand and you get other people, what happens is you can do a tremendous amount of exploratory questioning that is actually not directly related to the suit. If you can simply get the judge to agree with you that he'll allow the allow the line of questioning. And so there is not a media company anywhere in the known universe that wants any of their executives on the stand. They MSNBC doesn't want the producers for Rachel Maddow on there. Have you ever been in contact? Were you in contact with uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign on a daily basis and talking about this? They don't want that. Well, these 10 emails say you were. Mm -hmm. uh, Great perspective. This here, says Tom. Jim, Great D, perspective. Jim D. Podesta says that he he reached out to Rachel and Rachel covered. And actual fact, if we have the tape here. Rachel said this, which comes right out of D. Podesta's email to you of that morning at ten sixteen a.m. That is not what anybody wants. I do not believe that the media industry, although their news divisions are cheering what just happened to Fox, I don't think anybody in news actually thinks this is a good settlement. And, and Pat, I showed this uh, to Rob. I sent this to you in Slack about the, what pisses me off about the double standard. And the, the left is like, what? Because it's, it's all the left talking crap. These are This is a video of all the Democrats during uh, Trump's uh, election win about how all these machines and all this voting thing is all suspect. Can you, can you play it, Rob? Computer voting because what? it's so vulnerable. Right? Weird. We need to look at all the voting machines. Every secretary of state needs to be, you know, assisted wrap. in making sure that they are not being uh, hacked and, <laughs> and attacked. I continue to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. <laughs> Her researchers have repeatedly de demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tampering. Even <laughs> hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines. Isn't that weird? Isn't this weird? In Listen. 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates well, or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software, which would make a machine like that 
you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. These voting machines can be hacked quite easily. You really? Can easily hack into them. It makes it seem like all these states are doing different things, but in fact, three companies are controlling this. It is the individual voting machines that some pose, that pose some of the greatest risks. uh, There are a lot of states that are dealing with antiquated machines. Oh, right? I can't believe she knows what that word means. To being hacked. The workers were able to easily hack into an electronic voting machine. It was possible to switch votes. 43% of American <laughs> voters use voting machines. Thank you. That researchers have Sounds found like the guy have from, uh, serious yeah. security <laughs> flaws. <laughs> but but, but uh, 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 you can stop, you, you can stop it. But, but Pat, here's my right, point. Stop it before these yeah. guys get sued. So yeah. Let's, go ahead. yeah, before they get sued. So, so why is it right, that right? Dominion and, and in 2020, uh, 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 everything by is going after Trump, <clears throat> you're hearing them. Why all of a sudden is it all good and you should believe in it and they look at how they're still going mother they're still talking about it but it's one side it's okay but the other side it's not there's not is this that is weird? the law you you let's 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 put a pin in this and come back pat in one year i believe this is the law of unintended consequences on parade i want to come back in a year I'm not trying to stop the conversation right now, but I'd love to come back in a year, replay the last 20 minutes of this podcast, and look at all the stuff that's come out since then. Because, folks, this is the law of unintended consequences. The water is coming down, and it's going to go over the waterfall. Can you, like, tell it to the average sixth grader on what what you're trying to say? Yeah. A year from now, we are going to look back, and we are going to see multiple lawsuits because I think Trump is going to come out and do things. We're going to see other lawsuits against other media companies and other settlements. And we are going to see just what has just happened here, Uh, like Portland, Oregon, and all the store closings and everything down there. They allowed all this stuff during the woke time, Pat. They defunded their police department. And now look, a year later, you look back and you say, that didn't work. And so that's... That's an unintended consequence. By you know, the way, it's like you 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 ratted on your sister, you got her in trouble with your dad, and then four weeks later, you and your brother got home at one a.m. and then your dad says, "Well, I grounded her for two weeks. I'm grounding you for two weeks." Yeah. yeah. By the way, I would actually love to see that. I would love to see CNN have to pay a half a billion dollars or whatever the amount is for the lies that they have told. Of course. I think if you're going to call out one side, you need to call out both. Both sides have been peddling disinformation oh. or fake news. And oh, right now, Fox is paying. But I think at some point, CNN should have to pay. I mean, CNN, That's kind of the way it works. CNN is the king of fake news. <laughs> Trump put them on blast and just won. But, Pat, I think you nailed it. Donald Trump should one. Th- I don't know what he's waiting for, should 100% go after, not just CNN, MSNBC, all of them. It was, bro, people still today, I have people, Pat, from Cali that are like, he colluded. He's a Russian asset. How much did Stormy Daniels pay uh, to Trump? What was the number? All around? I think like 500000 She, just she paid, paid to him? Yeah, she just paid him another $120,000. She, she, mil- she, 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 she had to pay Trump? She hasn't paid all of it, but what's death. her tab? Rob, what's her tab? Oh, yeah, Adam. Her tab right Daniels now is pretty severe. Daniels was ordered to pay Trump's attorney fees of $120,000. This is a couple okay. of... Yeah, but that's, that's, a, no, that's, that's not all of it. It's 500000 plus this. Yeah. It's a lot. So Stormy Daniels has to pay Trump quite a, 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 a lot of money. It's not hush a small amount. Yeah, hush money so, is supposed to hush. So, but, but here's the point. The point is, the same way Stormy had to pay her, uh, Stormy had to pay him mm-hmm. uh, for, you know, uh, that's, when's the last time you heard that story, though? For a girl that has ad- as much, you know, uh, she's a porn star, right? That's what yeah. she did. Yeah. She's paying Trump. When's the last time a porn star paid, paid you? Guy. Is what I know. Dude, that's like bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. You're at a bar, the guy says, Let me tell you who I just hooked up with this porn star. This yeah. Trump says, Let me tell you how much a porn star had to pay me for me to for <laughs> her to hook up with me. Yeah. And I gave her a terrible Yelp yeah. review. Yeah. <laughs> but but here's a part. Yeah. If that's the case, he needs to he needs to play in the offensive. He needs oh. to play. Knowing him, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Okay, well, he, he's already suing Michael Cohen for a billion dollars, Good. whatever that number Good. is. He's Good. he's one of the most litigious guys in New York. A I wise think the man. number was thirty three hundred lawsuits. I don't know the exact number. He's been in a lot of lawsuits in New York the last mm-hmm. fifty years. If you can type how many lawsuits has Trump been a part of, I don't know why oh I remember God. the number thirty three hundred. It's a big number. Uh, 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 what is the number total? No, no, no. This no, is not I'm like, Book of total. Revelation. Go ahead. Rob, you were going to say, say a, a wise man. man once said at the beginning of the new year, this is the year of investigations no, it is and investigations. PVD. It is not going to slow down. It is not going to slow down. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.